In the last few years, our country witnessed the death of a famous tigress, Solo, in Bandavgar Tiger Reserve. Following this, another tigress was poisoned near Umrit Karandala Wildlife Sanctuary. And then the Bagin Nala tigress and her cubs were poisoned in Penj Tiger Reserve. While key species like tigers face this threat, for lesser-known carnivores like Indian grey wolves, the odds are tougher. Most poisoning cases that happen in the case of wolves and other carnivores go unnoticed as they are highly underreported and the incidents fail to fall under the umbrella of national parks. The Grasslands Trust team has been keeping a track of such deaths since 2012 in and around Pune. In the majority of the cases, the carcasses decompose before any evidence is gathered, but the team has been lucky to get the due procedure done with the authorities in the recent past. However, poisoning couldn't be conclusively proven. To address the threat faced by the grey wolf population, a rapid action project was undertaken with Wildlife Trust of India. In the Saswat region, Poultry carcasses dumped by farm owners form a majority of the diet of carnivores of the landscape. Under this project, the Grasslands Trust team first identified sites of poultry dumps frequented by carnivores with the help of camera traps provided by WTI. Once the sites were fixed, random collection of poultry carcasses was done and these samples were then sent to the lab for toxicology testing. One of the samples showed traces of forate, an insecticide that effectively controls sucking pests, mites and other major insects in row crops, which can prove fatal if consumed. Forate and other pesticides like Rogor that are readily available in the market make it easy for culprits to poison the carcass and cause deaths to numerous wild and domestic animals. Recent studies have revealed that the Indian wolves belong to some of the most ancient lineages of the modern-day wolves, making them a key species for conservation. But still, threats like rampant habitat modification Mining, disease transmission from dogs, poisoning still continue to threat the last surviving population. The Grasslands Trust team is currently engaged in sensitization initiatives to educate local people, especially poultry farm owners, with the district SPCA and other government departments to take preventive actions to avoid more poisoning cases in the near future.